particular set of features. So you have uh, to invest a lot of effort to build your, your functionality. So uh, I'm very happy to present, to introduce Shuel, uh, a new collaborative framework to develop real-time collaborative uh, applications. Swell is a collaborative platform providing real time editing of which text documents, but also uh, arbitrary structured data. Okay, so I don't. I, I think I don't have to explain <laughs> what's uh, what's this. Okay, so you can have uh, in your system documents or data that can be accessed and edited in real time. Uh, between different users, okay? And you can define any kind of data. And it's also federated, so uh, those, the users can be belong to different service providers, okay? I, I think that <laughs> that's very, <laughs> very easy to understand for all of them. So, and then uh, the platform will provide uh, additional services to the to the local users from its service provider like uh, search engine functionality and also access control identity management. So, so you apart from uh, having this platform to build new new software new ap applications. Where, where you can edit text, you can uh, edit uh, data in general in real time. Uh, we are allowing people, developers, uh, to build new interoperable applications. What does it mean? Okay, if you want to develop application for, let's say, you want to make a translation service, collaborative translation service of documents in English to Spanish or any language, uh, you maybe you will have to define a data model of what things uh, you need to to manage documents, to manage the uh, translation process, whatever. So you can model your data on top of the C of twelve system, and then on top of them develop your application, and then you can provide your own data layer to others to use uh, your data uh, to to be interoperable with uh, your system. So you can ha you can develop your own application. You can develop your own uh, data model and share it and you can let other people provide applications working in your own provider of data and you also can let others have their own server provider the providers of the, of the data but use your own data also okay? so it's a lot of it has a lot of flexibility in order to let people build software on top of the, of the platform. And you can uh, design your data model using data structure, structures or, or which text documents in any, in any, in any way. OK, so this is the architecture, the full stack of the, of the system. You have a server part that the uh, servers are federated. Um, you have a uh, concurrency, co concurrency control for uh, real-time uh, editing of structured data of each text. You have search, you have the store, local storage, and you have federation, uh, federation protocol in order to interconnect servers. And also you have, uh, we provide an API a client client API to build your application on top of it. That is available uh, for Java.
JavaScript for also it's going to be available for Android um, very soon. Um, it's also available for Java applications. And we are working on provide a big text editor uh, for a web application in order, in order to avoid developers to have to uh, develop a full editor um, for text. So that's all the, that's it in the presentation. Uh, I, I want to say that uh, all this technology is, is not uh, new from scratch. We have uh, taken uh, the work Google uh, released some years ago in the product uh, Google Web. I don't know if it, uh, uh, some of you remember what was uh, Google Web. So Google Web was a failed product of Google. They released the code uh, in our source project. And we uh, have been working on uh, generalizing the Google Web platform. So uh, it was a federated platform, but only focused on one kind of application. It was a kind of email and real-time uh, text editing. But the technology was very, very powerful. At, 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 the, at that time, but it's, a, it's, it's a still useful and it's still powerful. And there is no another alternative in the open source world to do that. So the, the rest of projects, projects in the open source world are very limited, as I said before, in different ways. So we are uh, reusing a lot of effort that Google did some time ago, and we are providing uh, a very big alternative to, to the software world. So we could uh, develop a new Google Drive <laughs> with the, the, the former technology of Google, but nobody has uh, tried uh, yet. So for us, uh, we need Okay, the organization asked the, for presentations to, to ask for needs. What we need right now, uh, we are in the early stage of the development, so we need a lot, as much people as, as possible trying the platform and provide, providing us feedback. So we like to uh, know if uh, developers are comfortable with, with it. Tomorrow we have a tutorial session that all of you are invited when we are going to explain how to use the API in a, in a web application. It's very, it's very easy. It will be very, very light session. Um, the open question for, for you is, uh, is, is in fact the, our motivation to, to do this. Is <coughs> how long, how, how much time can we keep using these centralized services to, to make our, our work, to work uh, together in building documents, building, building new ideas, using these centralized services. Okay, we, are, we have a very, very huge uh, dependency with this kind of services. And it's, it's the time to the open source world to provide an alternative. So, I don't know if we have got a minute or two for questions. One minute. Um, we can speak uh, later, but. So, I have an exciting uh, idea. Yeah, um, and remember the tutorial tomorrow, but we'll take a couple of questions. So, just, yeah, it sounds brilliant. Um, what, do you have funding? Is this sustainable for you to carry on working on this? Uh, what's yeah, uh, <coughs> we uh, are part of the PHP Valley project, so. Uh -huh. <laughs> So far, we have uh, almost two more years of, okay, great. of funding <laughs> to, to start the, yeah. the project. Mm -hmm. So at least cool. we are going to be able to push forward. Mm -hmm. so, yes. Uh, yeah. Do you have a roadmap? I mean, do you have a, uh, of uh, how many resources you need to to bring this 
project to let's say to user uh, usable uh, level okay the, the the project is usable right now okay <laughs> so uh, as well as the, uh, the the original wave project is open source and is fun is, is working okay uh, so the, the the point is that we have we have to we get some part of the project uh, keep improving it but, uh, what's the repository of the project so we can see how oh, okay we can provide you the github uh, repository yes. okay. Uh, okay. so this was part of the previous caps right you're part of the previous caps or yes, yes. yes. And, and, that, and, and did they change the rules like uh, initially um, in this in this one you have to have a community when you come in already it's so just a very small part of p2p yes okay not, not small but yeah, it's <laughs> not small. Uh, there's lots of other things Yes, the, the, we want to. We are developing the software uh, to provide it to some community test that community we have in the project. To and the tool must uh, support research on social interaction in the, in, the, in those communities. So it's just a part of the project. We have a lot of uh, research on social behavior. In Last question before we move. Uh, uh, my question is: uh, Do you have uh, real-world communities with which you are going to work or implement or bring this to? And uh, how open are you, or how flexible it is to engage other communities that are not part of your consortium, for example? Uh, are you relating to this, this tool, or in general in the people well, project? You have a tool that uh, is, can be used in different platforms. Uh, Okay, the, the tool, uh, this software is uh, open to use for everybody. No, so I mean, if you in the project have planned to bring this uh, to be implemented with communities that have yes. their own platforms or and so on. Mm -hmm. Yes, that could be another project. Yeah, of course. Yes. I also have some in mind, but then I want to explore. Yes, the, <laughs> the final application we are going to build on top of this uh, is going to be uh, another open source project. To be and the, the objective of the of the full P2P value project is provide this final application in, in a, another open source project to be available for. You allow me? I mean, this is the back end of what we're building. That the aim is to build tools for actual communities. We have four testbed commons based interaction communities. So this is the back end of tools that are gonna be uh, to promote sustainability collaboration of these. So more in the lunch break or in the tutorial uh, tomorrow. Thank you. Very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Now we're going to move swiftly on to unhosted.
Thank you. 